So we move on to the first pilot presentation, So Distant, Incredibly Close, based in Pisa, and it will be presented by Marzia Cerrai and Davide Cetrullo of Fondazione Sistema Toscana. Regina, be concise, promise. My name is David, and together with Max, I'm going to present the pilot so distant, ready to be close, advised um, by Fondazione Sistema Toscana. With this short presentation, we would like to outline what is worth remembering and highlighting about our pilot. Its title, uh, So Distant, Incredibly Close, uh, was inspired by the idea that a museum can become a place where people from different countries can exchange stories, tradition, and um, memories. Next slide, Alex, if you, if not, is the thing. One of the most beautiful words we, we heard visiting, uh, visiting a museum is bring a busy artifacts of a museum stick to you and bring out the most intimate part of you. And this uh, phrase represents what we had in mind when we co-designed our project and our uh, activities. Um, indeed, in our action, we, we use museum as, as a sort of expedient uh, to give migrants a voice on their own cultural heritage. And in this case, museums collections became a sort of stimulus to trigger memories and stories from migrants. Then we collected these stories, giving them to the high school students of Pisa, uh, who then turned them into uh, web comics. Uh, this is the framework of the pilot, but then, but now Marcia will will uh, explain better the methodology we fought. Thank you. Okay, Alex, please, could you change slides uh, and go to the next, please? And next, thank you very much. Okay, one of the peculiar and uh, challenging aspects of our project was the networking activity we did to lay the ground for the project. Indeed, the Fondazione Sistema Toscana is not a cultural organization. We are not a museum, for example, and we are not an NGO working with migrants. However, the mission of our foundation is to create a network at the local level, combining different territorial actors to work together. And indeed, this is exactly what we did in the distant Incredibly Close project. We made organizations with different skills and expertise collaborate together to strengthen this social innovation process uh, titled So Distant Incredibly Close. So before starting our activities, it was necessary to create a network with museums, uh, cultural mediators, association and participants of the territory we, we worked, where we worked. Next slide, please. Our work was based uh, in Pisa, as David said, where we had collaborated with four museums of the University Museum System. In particular, we visited uh, the Museum of Calculating Instruments, uh, the Natural History Museums, the Gypsoteca of Ancient Art, and the Botanical Garden Museum, uh, as you can see in the slide. And furthermore, we are about to hear the voice of the president of the University Museum Sister, Chiara Bodei, where she speaks about the museum's involvement in the project. Please, the first video, Alex. Io sono Chiara Bodei, Presidente del Sistema Museale di Ateneo dell'Università di Pisa. Abbiamo partecipato alle attività del progetto grazie al coinvolgimento di Fondazione Sistema Toscana che ha usato i nostri musei come base per le attività del loro pilot e quindi su un progetto di inclusione e di partecipazione basato proprio sul, eh, sul senso universale diciamo, del patrimonio culturale. Oh, I do apologize for the background noise, <laughs> however, it was shot during the last event of the pilot. Uh, next slide, please. Again, please. Next. 
Thank you. Uh, special guides accompanied us during the visits and their work was crucial to facilitate the memory process and the emerging of stories from participants. And now uh, I'm going to show you a short clip where Federico, one of the guides, describes his experience guiding us through the museums. Please, the, the video, the second one, Alex. Io sono Federico Coloni, collaboro con il Museo degli Strumenti per il Calcolo e ho fatto da guida per una visita dei, dei migranti al museo che c'era a Pubieri, a Iaia e Fessin. È stata una visita molto, molto piacevole, ci siamo scambiati esperienze delle nostre rispettive terre d'origine, abbiamo visto questi bellissimi artefatti nella storia dell'informatica. Davide? Yes, our, our collaborators have been fundamental for us and in particular we work with two non-profit associations of Pisa which normally organize Italian language classes uh, for, for, for migrants, uh, that is Casa della Donna which supports women and then we work with Oris Association which works with migrants uh, in Italy and abroad as well. Uh, now we are going to, to hear the voice of Ketty, who is one of the voices of Casa della Donna and who collaborated with us the video of this. Thank you. Io mi chiamo Ketty Di Pasquale, sono una volontaria della Casa della Donna e in questo progetto come associazione della Casa della Donna ho messo in contatto uh, il il sistema museale con un gruppo di donne migranti che frequentano la casa sia per il corso di italiano che, che, che facciamo e sia per altri motivi. Quindi abbiamo messo in contatto, messo, organizzato questo gruppo di donne che era interessata a questo progetto e insieme eh, come volontaria della casa le ho accompagnate in questo progetto. E durante il progetto però non, non sono più stata eh, la volontaria che coordinava o che accompagnava, ma sono stata una delle donne che insieme alle altre hanno partecipato e condiviso questa esperienza che è stata un'esperienza molto interessante e molto arricchente. Ci ha dato più di quanto noi abbiamo dato uh, come volontariato. Yes, and then, uh, as you can see, the role of the associations was crucial because they, they helped us to involve migrants and uh, create a solid group of participants. And now we, we, we have the, um, a short testimony of Adriana, a woman from Brazil who visits several museums with us. Ciao, sono Adriana Papagna, abito a Pisa da 2030 anni, sono brasiliana. Eh, ho partecipato con molto piacere a questo, a questo progetto e dove è stato possibile ho contribuito con qualche storia appunto, locale eh, di, cultura, di cultura brasiliana, principalmente quando siamo andati a vedere i, uh, le piante no, all'orto botanico nella sezione di piante Thank you, Davide. Uh, ok, next slide, Alex. Okay, thank you. Uh, the, the collection of stories uh, was the second part of our project. And let me say that it maybe was the most exciting part of the project. This is because migrants uh, gave us a piece of themselves, telling us personal stories uh, and intimate memories. Um, indeed, after the visits, uh, we organized several workshops, uh, both physically and digitally, to give participants the opportunity to remember the experience of the visit and then conceive their own stories. And then we are about to hear the voice of two participants, uh, Abdelier from Gambia and Blessing from Nigeria who uh, were, are narrating their experiences in our project. Please, the video. Thank you, Alex. Ciao, chi sei? Io sono Abdella. E hai partecipato a questo progetto? Sì. Che cosa hai fatto? 
io ho raccontato la storia del Dolphin del delfino in Gambia. Allora praticamente in questo progetto eh, siamo andati a in quattro, quattro musei di cui abbiamo visto tante cose. Quel, quello che mi piace di più è di Gipsoteca. Sei sicura? Quello delle statue? Sì. Gipsoteca? Sì, sì, quello delle statue. E dove l'ho raccontato la, sto la storia di fondazione di, di Roma. Okay, thank you. Uh, the last part of the project uh, was mm, dedicated to transforming stories into webcomics. And for doing this, we engaged high school students from Pisa and uh, with the support of a professional cartoonist, Alicia Milani, we organized a workshop of 10 hours. Uh, what happened during the workshop? The students read stories of migrants. Uh, each of them worked in pairs uh where they selected a story uh that inspired them somehow and created a, a web comics and now we are about to to hear uh, from alicia milani who is the main cartoonist of our project hi i'm alicia milani i'm a cartoonist i draw comics for the culture labs project I drew the stories, the web comics, based on the stories that I heard. And I also conducted a workshop for young students from high school to draw more web comics based on other stories that were published on the websites of the museums from Pisa. Okay, thank you, Al. Um, for us, the involvement of students uh, had a double value. Uh, firstly, um, because they learned uh, the webcomic technique. And moreover, more than this, they had the opportunity to learn about the history of, and culture of other countries and populations. Thus, we created a sort of nexus between museums and students, passing through the eyes and voices of migrants. I give the floor to Davide. Yes, next slide. So finally, the, um, we, we created this, this web comics and web comics and stories are now available on the University Museum System website. So if you ever have the opportunity to visit the four museum, uh, museums in Pisa, you will be able to see the panels on the walls representing web comics and stories. And we would like to conclude with uh, Mariam. Those words are very encouraging, which, give, uh, which gives us the ample stimulus to continue on a similar initiative in, in the future. Thank you. Ciao, sono Mariam, eh, sono da 2013 in Italia. Eh, ho studiato fisica, però ho perseguito la mia passione la cucina. Ora in Italia faccio la cucina persiana. Che è bellissimo, spero che ritroviamo di nuovo un altro progetto simile per proseguire con eh, questo gruppo.